But here's our 1080p PTZ. It's a BNC based PTZ camera. And we've taken the top cover off. By default, this thing ships out as 1080p. And here, the third dip switch lets you switch in this model, whether it's on standard definition or HD. Having it down this way is 1080p. And if you move the switch number three here to the on position by flipping it up, it'll give you analog mode. And in the manual here, it actually states that uh, one and two on this switch will let you change the baud rate according to these settings here. And then um, you can change the address on the longer dip switch from one through eight. That's used for assigning an address to this PTZ camera. And it uses um, the binary system to put in a address for the PTZ camera. So for addresses one through eight, it tells you how to do that by following this dip switch configuration. Every camera has switches all in the off position for one through eight, and that's an ID of one. So if you have multiple PTZ cameras in a configuration, you will have to change these addresses by using this toggle switch. Now all these PTZ cameras, uh, depending on who's buying them, we will switch them for you to analog mode. And to switch the analog mode, you basically switch this third lever into the up position, turn your PTZ off by disconnecting the power and reconnect power. So see it, you'll see it up here on the monitor. So here we go. It has booted up in analog mode and its ID is 1, 9600 baud rate protocol is actually automatically PELC OD or it's auto sensing so you don't have to do anything about that now once you've got it turned on and you've assigned it the correct ID and baud rate you can use these RS485 wires on the camera in this case they are this particular one and for this camera you can see that yellow is positive and orange is negative and this is the two lead wire you need to connect to your PTZ controller